Hello, 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 new subscribers, welcome and returning. Hey y'all, I know it's been a while, but um, today I'm just gonna be straightening my hair. I've been waiting for it to, you know, get cool outside for the longest cause I've been like over wash and goes for like the past two months. Um, I had the last two hairstyles I've had were mini twists and then after the mini twist, I just like put two braids in my hair. Like I've been so ready to straighten my hair, but I didn't want to do it while it was hot outside. So um, I've already, um, what I've done to my hair, I did the Apple G protein treatment and I just use the whole system, you know, with the um, the shampoo and stuff that comes with it. So I just use that. But going forward, what I'm going to be using to wash my hair, you know, is this is what I'll be using for my clarifying shampoo going forward. And then after, I like to go in with a moisturizing shampoo, which is this Kara Care Hydrating and Detangling Shampoo. Before I wash it, um, I usually like to put the Olaplex three on it but like I said since I just did the protein treatment I just used the shampoo and the stuff that came with it but going for it that is the stuff that I do usually like to use on my hair when I'm doing a silk press um and then I just use the Shea Moisture um, Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask um I usually I'm not too like picky on what deep conditioners I use but as far as the other products that I mentioned, I always use those. So, um, yeah, my hair is wash and deep condition. And now what I'm going to do is detangle it first. I'm going to use these two products um, for my leave-in. Um, one is the Carol's Daughter Sacred Tea Tier, I guess, um, leave-in conditioner, um, anti-breakage and anti-frizz. So that's that. And then I'm also going to use the My Black is Beautiful tangle slayer conditioning cream for type 4 coily hair um so yeah i'm gonna use both of these i'm probably i'm go gonna mainly use this but i'm gonna spray a little bit of this on it too since it's for like frizzy and unruly hair so yeah i'm gonna be using both of these plus i want all the moisture so i'm gonna go ahead and detangle my hair um put some of this in it and then i'll come back okay so i finished detangling my hair after um i finished detangling it I sprayed a little bit of this Kenra blow dry spray on it. Um, it's right now it's a little bit more wet than I'd like. So um, I'm just gonna take these out. I'm gonna take them out one at a time and I'm just gonna take my towel and just kind of Get it a little bit dry because you don't want it to be wet wet like it's not soaking wet but i'd like it a little bit more damp than it is so since i am doing that i am then next going to um just take a couple of bit um a couple of more sprays of the um blow dry spray in put that in so now it's I feel like it's a pretty good pretty good um amount of I don't know wetness dampness I should say to go ahead and blow dry it and um I always like to use this um Revlon dr um blow dry brush just because it's easy it's quick um I'm not good with that whole holding the blow dryer and then yeah i always like to have like a, a comb attachment so yeah i'm just gonna use this um it always does good no heat damage or anything like that so yeah i'm gonna go in with this and i'm gonna go ahead and start blow drying
blow drying my hair and this is just how one of the sections look right here so i did um put the heat all the way up to the high on the revlon blow dry brush and then when i felt like it was you know all dry and you know as straight as i can get it with this i then um put it on the cool setting and um i also you know did that for a couple of minutes too until it cooled down so now i am ready to flat iron my hair and so what i did was um i used the tresemme heat protectant spray it protects up to 450 degrees and i always set um my flat iron to 420. i was doing it like um i can't remember what i was using before but I found that 420 like gets in my hair like the straightest as um as straight as I like. So yeah, 420 is good for me. And I never have any heat damage when I put it on 420. But um this is the same um flat iron that I used in the past. It's the Silk Out Pro Heat flat iron. It's my favorite flat iron ever. So yes, I will always use this one. So yeah, I have like I said already. Put the heat protectant spray in and now I'm just going to start um, straightening my hair. So I am going to do a few sections, go ahead and get that done. And then um, I'm just going to save the last section and do it with y'all. Okay, so um, on the last section, finally, as you can see, um, the rest of my hair is done and straightened and everything like that. This is with 420, like I said. And now I just have this one last section to do and I'm so happy. So, um, yeah, so first thing I'm going to do is, and oh, it's right here in my lap. The first thing I'm going to do is, of course, spray some heat protectant spray. So just going to try to get this in all the spots. Don't want to miss anything. So... After I do a few sprays of that, I just kind of go through with my hands a few times and I also grab a white tooth comb and I just comb through it a little bit. Make sure there's no tangles and to get, you know, the spray more evenly distributed. And I want to try to, you know, just work the spray into my head because when you're going in with the flat iron you don't want it to be sizzling from the spray so okay so now that that's all good and worked in usually um in the back of my head i just do with my fingers but for some reason um when i get towards the front i like to grab a comb and just start taking out small sections and then clip this out of the way. And then I always like to grab a brush cause um, it's best with a brush. Cause you get to, you know, just hold it a little bit better. So it's like more taut in your hand. So I usually do one, two, three and then go down like that slowly in small sections like i said this is set at 420 degrees so and it is steaming up in here but yeah that's all i do so just gonna continue this for the rest of the section so when I see y'all again or when I talk to y'all again at least it'll be finished <laughs>
each section, what I've been doing is going back in with the um, Revlon blow dry brush and I just put it on the cool section and just go over the section that I just finished. <laughs> Now at this point, I would usually go in with the oil or something like that. But the only thing that I have here um, with me at the time is this Silk Out Serum. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of this. And it says it's supposed to protect and seal, improves the moisture balance of the hair while reducing frizz. So I'm just going to put a little, a little bit like to like the flyaways on top. So now I am pretty much done with my hair. This is how it looks. But one thing that I need to do is trim my ends. Another thing that I like to do is um, wrap my hair every night before I go to bed. And usually I like the way my hair looks after I wrap it. So it is nighttime right now. I haven't done my thumbnail and I just want to look nice in my thumbnail. But like I said, it's nighttime right now. So I don't want to get like you know, looking all nice and then just have to take it right back off. So I will wrap it, um, come back tomorrow and I'll show y'all how it looks. Then. So y'all, this is pretty much how my hair turned out at this point. I'm hot, like my hair just too thick. And every time I take it out, I just start to sweat. So I'm starting to sweat now. And I feel like the humidity is like kind of getting to my hair a little bit from how hot it is. And it's like, I'm just, I'm just over it right now. And I'm just ready to just put my hair in a ponytail because I don't know if I can like deal with this like it's just too hot like I'm sweating so but much every time like like this is my second time taking my hair down today like each time I just instantly start getting hot and start sweating but anyway I don't want this video to um be too long um I hope y'all enjoyed it please don't forget to like comment subscribe and I will see y'all in my next video bye